Hi everyone, as I said in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the eyes, which a lot of you said that you like your eyes, you like, you know, also if you like your smile, your eyes actually show your smile. So, um, and you said that you liked your brows. I haven't done my brows today, but um, yeah, some tips for your brows. So hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye bye. Okay, now I took a deep breath before ordering this, but one of my followers said she got one and that was really worth it. I've been looking at them for ages and I think this is probably the most money I've spent on an eyeshadow, but all the reviews, everything said it's worth it and by God, it is worth it. It's a Tom Ford eyeshadow and it's called Golden Peach. And what it is, is it's got a cream in the bo bottom there, right? And then at the top, it's got a powder. So it's a bit like Charlotte's Pop Shade that you can put over the top. What's so good about this is it's really pigmented. And for those of you that don't know, by the way, Charlotte Tilbury worked with Tom Ford on a lot of his formulations. So um, the things like her eyes to mesmerise and her Pop Shades... Um, probably came from all the formulations she gave Tom Ford. Um, so, yeah, but they're very expensive. But this doesn't budge. And because it, anybody that's a hoodie like me, what happens is you'll put your eyeshadow on and then you'll relax your eyes. And then what happens is you start getting creasing where you've relaxed your eyes. Now, that's because you put a cream on it. But... Once you've let it dry, a good eyeshadow shouldn't do that. But obviously, if you do that while it's still wet, there's no cream in the world that's not going to crease. You know, it's just normal science. But this is so nice. Now, I like this because it's shimmery. And I'm going to put this on my lids. Okay? So don't call the makeup police. I was laughing with uh, Daniel Sandler on Twitter yesterday. So quick, call the makeup police. I've put shimmer near my eyes. Do you see how gorgeous that is? And you can put this on with your fingers. And I'm just going to keep that to the lid, okay? Yeah. And the reason I, I'm going to do that is I'm just avoiding the hood. And I am putting it on the lid to say, look at my lids, everyone. Don't look at the hood. Look at my lids. Look at my eyes. Don't you just love my eyes? I know I'm laughing as I'm saying it because it's very alien to me too. And then what you do is try to not relax my eyes. I'll put a bit further up. I just don't what what I don't want to do is get it to adhere to here and then you've got shimmer there. I just want it here and that's why. And if I keep my eyes stretched like that until it dries, so you just make then really it's not gonna transfer. Now, what I'm gonna do now, and I'm deliberately, as I said, doing that so to let it dry. But while it's still a bit tacky, I'm then going to go in with this top shade, like this, which is like a pop shade. And I'm going to press it with my fingers again, over the top. And it just gives the most delicious shimmer. But just, if you're buying this, and you can afford it, just shut your eyes when you go to pay the bill. Because it's just really expensive and I wish I didn't like it because I'm going to be so tempted to get another one different shade but I'm going to hold off for a while because I've bought enough I've got stuff with my birthday money and I am going to be getting some more Charlotte Tilbury when she brings out she's bringing out her blushes I think and her, her lip product at the end of May and I have a voucher from Jack for my birthday so I will be getting those. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Isn't it? Just look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, I want to create more shadow here. Right? I want to create more shadow that, that tells people my lids aren't that far forward. They're back. They're beautifully set back. I'm not hiding anything. I'm accentuating. Look at my lids, everyone. Okay? So you can start thinking about what you want to hide, but look at it in terms of what you're trying to accentuate. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put a darker matte shade. I'm going to start off with not something too dark because I want to gradually build it up. And I've got a matte shadow here. Can you see this sticker that I've put here? I got this for my birthday from my other half and I to put no, labels no, and stuff. I've you know where you've got names and you can't see what they are? Um, he bought me one of these label I machines and I have been labeling everything. Oh, I'd label my head if I could. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this, this is Mac Soft Brown. It's a really flattering shade to kind of put up there. So you see, this is where, for my eye shape, I want to put the matte browns, soft browns, because I want to accentuate that shadow and make sure that the hood, which at the moment is looking like it's forward, starts to recede backwards. Then I build it up in this corner to make it look like it's a lot further back than it is. The only thing is that that glitter is getting on. I perhaps should have done that last. But you live and learn. So yeah, the, the glitter from the the eyeshadow is, is getting on. So I would recommend if you're doing this look or you're using this eyeshadow is to do do the work in your socket first so that you don't it doesn't too much doesn't transfer um it's still not too bad it's just where i've done that you see it's kind of transferred a little bit and that isn't the shadow underneath it's the pop shade that i've stuck over the top okay remember Yeah, see, the, the, we should go to this mine. And then I, if you're a hoodie, it's make sure, because when you're doing your makeup, you automatically do that, right? And then you go, oh, I can't see my eyeshadow. So make sure gosh. that you sit back and you relax your eyes and then look at it, get it like you want it to look when your eyes are relaxed and as they normally would be uh, okay I'm gonna go slightly underneath uh, I have, oh, crap, with a bit of that yeah, soft brown I'm going to kind of draw what? attention to my Yo. brown eyes okay I'm joining back okay and then I'm going to get a darker brown, and I'll be right back. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Okay, so I'm now going to put Embark by MAC no. onto the corner there to set that back a little bit more, just to make my eyes look a bit deeper set than they are. Cool. Oh. And accentuate the shadow. Because we're not talking about hiding today. Skeleton. We're talking about accentuating. Okay, so I'm placing I'm this sharing. with a smaller brush, as you can see. And then I will go back in and blend it. Really it? good tip, by the way. If you find blending difficult, and even if you don't actually, it's still a good tip, is to get an eyeshadow that looks identical to your skin tone on your eyelid and you might think is she crazy why would I want to do that 
Um, I've got one, it's called Kid by Mac. And the really good thing about that is if you get to the end and you've still got lines and you just cannot blend them out, is you just pick up a bit of that eyeshadow onto your brush and then use it to blend it in because it will just blend it in beautifully because you're just blending it in using the natural colour of your eyelids. So just a little tip to share with you. Now I'm going back in with the brush <laughs> that I use with soft brown and just blending that out so that I don't look like I've got any harsh lines. It's just a shadow. It's not my eyeshadow, it's I a shadow. Get it? Okay. Can you see how that kind of makes the eye look further back that that crease of my eye look further back and you can do this like i've done it with two but you can kind of gradually build it up with more and more <clears throat> different shades until you get to a really dark shade but i'm not going to do that i don't want to be here all day and then I'm going to go underneath with this dark shade to kind of highlight the fact that I have got what? two shades of brown on my oh eye. My I've got the middle shade that I, I like and I've got the outline I as I talked about yesterday. Right, next I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to hold off doing the highlight on my lids because I want to do my brows first. And I shall be right back. I'm just getting products as and when. So just bear with me. I am going to decant all these into a, a palette. But I've been collecting them over a period of time. Um, You know, just when I've got a bit of spare cash, I'll just order another one. And, um, and that, it's a great way... You can get a cheaper palette from MAC if you just buy them already made up, but with the palettes, well, you always end up with a couple of shades that you well, don't I, use. Wait, if you like well. certain shades, it's a great way is just collect the shades that you like yeah. one at a time, and then when you've got enough, you can just buy an empty palette and shove them in. And it's a way of getting your favourite colours in one palette. No. I'm full of tips today. One second. All right, first of all, I'm going to brush up my eyebrows to make sure that they look tidy and also to really make the best of that arch that I like okay now I've been trying out some eyebrow pens not pencils but pens they're like felt tips and I've tried out three actually and this one at the moment is my favorite I got one from oh, Kiko and it was supposed to be brunette, and I'm telling you, it was red. It just didn't match my eyebrows at all. Uh, I tried one from MAC. It's okay. But this one is my favourite at the moment, and it's called Art Deco Eyebrow Colour Pen 6 Long Wearing. Now, as with any felt tip, there's only one frustrating thing about felt tips. With a felt tip, normally if you're using one to write... The tip is is coming down but when you're doing your brows at some point you're going to be doing that and the tip is up in the air frustrating thing is obviously that when you're doing that suddenly it stops working because you need to have it this way so you kind of end up having to do this so that you've got the tip yeah. down but just keep remembering if you think it's run out it's probably because the tip you've got the tip upside down doing this and you need to kind of let it sink back in. But what I love about this is my brows are okay. And I think a lot of you are saying that yours are. But they're just getting a bit sparse in certain areas. And this will really draw fine lines. Let me just show you what I mean. Really draw very hair-like lines. Um, so, yeah. I love it but it is frustrating if only they could design one that you could kind of use that's not going to that you need to have it the other way but it's okay for a while but if it just suddenly dries out that's why 
you just need to tip it the other way okay so you can just fill them in and you can do a really nice if you want to kind of get a bit more of an outline you can do a really nice um, outline what? now here where I've got I'm just going to do it this way so that I can it's not easy to do it this way but that way I'm not gonna no it's not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do it that way this is where I've got some sparse ones do you see how it went on a lot thicker because I had it coming down what? and it just looks like my hair so this is a really good option if you've got good brows but you just want to fill them in in certain sparse areas and here you see you can just fill that in with hair like strokes you might want to go back in and fill in the center with something a bit darker but I quite like this and this is actually all the rage at the moment it's people are moving away from um, just doing block fill in their brows and they're, they're wanting something that looks a bit more like microblading okay don't mind the red mark I finished off my brows offline but I did get a bit up there so I tried to rub it off and it caused a red mark um, I'm now going to show you how you can really I'm happy with these they're not too filled in but they look natural and yeah um, I am now going to show you so this is how you kind of draw attention to your brows um, I'm using Mac Shroom but it can be I'll just show you what this looks like so it's a very light shimmery shimmery shade okay now you've probably often seen me highlight my brows if you want to really say look at my brows aren't they great kind of thing what you want is a, a flat eyeshadow brush like this and a small one now this is real techniques um, what do they call it an accent brush right and you can make it even more highlighted if you wet the brush. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do, try it like this. And what you want to do is to get right under the curve of your brow. So this is going to be really intense, but you're not putting it across under the whole brow bone. You're just, you're just doing it underneath that curve and that will draw the eye to under your brow can you see that it's not brilliant light in here but it's just going to draw the eye to your brow a lot more um let me just get the mac fix plus and i will do it with the other brow in fact i'm going to do this with the same brow so that you can see the difference so i'm going to put another bit on the brush load it up on the brush like that and i'm going to spray the brush okay with some mac fix plus or water it doesn't matter it's just got to be wet and then i'm going to put that underneath like so so you don't want this all the way down to there you just want it underneath the brow let me just pick up a bit more shadow on top because it's a bit wet okay can you see now i'm sure you can see now the difference between that brow and that brow although i've all i've got kind of natural highlight on there anyway so, but it's just kind of accentuating where you would have that natural kind of highlight. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the other brow. Now I've sprayed it with Fix Plus, I better do the same on the other eye. I'm just going to load a little bit more on the brush. And again, I'm 
just going to put that underneath there. Oh, so it was dirty. Okay. It's subtle. Well, you don't you don't want your eyebrows to kind of boing out, but it's subtle. It will say, "Look, look at my brow bone. Look at that. It's great." The other thing you could do, you can kind of carve out your brows. A lot of makeup artists say that's silly because it looks like you've got a pair of brows coming along. But you can, what you can do is go around with, um, you know, one of those skin coloured pencils. You could go around with that just to tidy up the outline if you want. And that will accentuate your brows. Or you can, you can go a bit of a shade lighter. Um, and But then you are carving them out and it sort of really draws attention to them so it depends how sort of subtle you want to go or how much you want to go but this will draw attention to your brows and to your brow bone oh, you see that oh, cool. and i'm just literally so putting it many. in a very oh, intensified oh, line over the top oh, i'm I not putting it over the whole brow just okay think. now while i've got that out i'm just going to do this because again, that's just going to open my eyes and just make me look a little bit more awake. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to do, a little trick to accentuate your eyes. I'm just going to get it because I haven't got everything ready with me. Okay, so I've got a skin coloured pencil. This one is Charlotte Tilbury. And I think it's called Eye Cheat. It's basically a skin colour. You can get them in Max. You can get different shades that are sort of will tell you like NC30, whatever. These are your best friend. Don't be fooled that it's for your eyes. It's got to be for this. It's got to be that. If you get one of these pencils for your eyes, you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it like to kind of, if I wanted to get rid of that, which I don't, if I did, I could just kind of dot that there and get rid of it. Okay, so you can use it as a concealer. I'm going to use this under here. Because again, it's going to make my eyes look bigger. Can you see? Okay, and then I'm going to do it under here. And again, it's going to draw attention to my eyes. And just to show you what I was talking about is if you wanted to just make a bit of a a bit more of a clearer line around your brows, don't worry, I am going to blend this out. You can kind of do that and you can outline your brows like that. You do need to blend it in. Get a little brush, make sure it's clean or it's... And then you just, with that, is blend it out. Or you can do it with your fingers. Maximum below. Just to look a bit more natural. What was it? But it just makes your brows look a little bit more outlined. Okay, it's just a good cheat if you, instead of lining your brows okay. you kind of line around the skin a lot of makeup artists hate people that carve out their brows because it's a kind of instagrammy thing but it depends what color you use as well um if you start using a highlighter to do it then you see how it just tidies them up a little bit and you can use this in here to kind of brighten up your eyes. This is going to be one of those products that will be your best friend. You can, if you've got a red lip, you can put this round to tidy up the line. Um, it's great. It's got so many uses. Get a skin coloured pencil. It doesn't have to be Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyelashes. Um, I'm so upset. Mac. I discontinue him, upper lash. I'm so annoyed. I'm going to do this off camera. I will be back.